It's Dan McDonald here. I am the light regenerator. Watch this. Bam. Okay, and then it's the frontal lighting. It's a little bit better. So the rejuvenator here on YouTube, life regenerator, life regeneration. It started from my um, interest in tissue regeneration, and that started about um, 16, 17 years ago, approximately. And then it just became much, much more. Regeneration of the tissues, regeneration of the physical organism, and you know it's evolved into regeneration of the entire life, life regeneration, which is the physical, emotional, mental, spiritual aspects of human life. So a lot of the society just got left behind. They're like, well, you're skinny though. And it's like, well, you're not getting it. You're simply not getting it. How happy are you? I'm miserable. Wow. But I have a big body, you know, so the people, they don't get it. So I've got a derogatory thing, but people think I'm malnourished, but it's, it's almost unreal what I'm capable of uh, at this age. Um, what I did yesterday, I, I climbed the mountain barefoot, you know, and I mean, this wasn't just some mountain. This was like real crazy stuff. Like if you miss one false move, you are gone, dead, or laying at the bottom, a pile of broken bones. So it just took a lot of strength. Had to do it, had to do it. Um, and so strength, endurance. So today I'm ripped. And I don't mean to let, you know, I'm still like, Dan, don't let the derogatory people bother you. And it's just, it's sad because I think it's like bot farms or something. You know what I mean? It's, it's, they're so negative. And then it's always anonymous. There's nobody there. There's no real human. So then you're like, wait a minute. But it just triggers your little thing because you want to explain to people, hey, some of us are thin. We want to stay that way because all the big people are going to get obesity, diabetes, and die of cancer. But us thin people that eat very moderately of the most high vibrational, water-rich, nutrient-dense, electrical foods filled with divine consciousness and life force energy, we're going to be able to be able to not have the same problems as all the people that I consult with every day. So you really want to work on what's really real because otherwise you'll be on social media looking real good on the outside and it's all fake. So, you know what I'm saying? No offense, but it's not real. None of this is real. On the level of, of the super illusion, then there's just the simple illusion, which you can understand, everyone buys into it. They really think that they are this thing. They really believe in the content that is blocking the real self the stories and the perceptions and the data and the programs that then create this filtration, but it's the consciousness and the light that activates and makes the movie projector even possible, you know? And so everybody misses out on the light that makes it possible to push through the film, which is the programs, onto the wall to create the movie. So they're looking at the movie, they're emotionally attached to the movie, not realizing that the movie is simply a bunch of photographs on the film, the film. My friend Jabriz used to call it flim. <laughs> I thought that was cute. He was a Rasta from uh, Guyana. But anyways, uh, Everyone's so involved in the movie that they don't sit still long enough or meditate to see that they don't even see that the programs are there creating the movie, you know? And then what's even prior to the programs? What even comes before that? So you got to track back through these layers, but unless you get curious about what the truth is, you're never going to look inside. And you're never going to ask the deeper questions. You're always going to be going outside of yourself 
to find what only can be found inside of yourself, you know? Because all of those qualities and everything that you seek, I mean, I would say it's in you, but you already are that. It's just that the other programs that are making this overly emotionalized movie that you are enamored with. So it's like just, you know, I'm saying oh, basically like, okay, it's an illusion. So change the story and it really helps you to realize the divine light, the light that makes that the light that goes through the film that then become projected onto the wall. And what you can do is you can just change the film by changing your mind, processing your emotions, and then there's other things like, hey, I'm gonna go get some exercise. Then, then, the, then with the laws of nature, you'll lose weight, you'll be toned up, you'll have energy, you'll sleep at night, you can change your diet, and some of those things. So, but we all get stuck in the, such the low levels of this whole game that we never make any progress. So, and, and the more you identify with the light, the more you'll be able to witness what the programs are, then you can start to go, well, wait a minute. Why do I even believe that? That was something that came from our insane society or my parents or the ridiculously ineffectual, well, ineffectual for you, but effectual for them, the education system, which makes you smart enough to push a button and do what you're told, but not smart enough to figure out that your consciousness has been enslaved and you, your mind has been put on tracks and you're only allowed to think certain things. And if you draw outside the line, all the sleepwalkers look funny at you. Now me, I kind of I kind of came out with both my middle fingers up. So I'm kind of a lucky case. I don't know, what do you, you know, like I've, I've, I've been, I ain't gonna lie, I've been sensitive to what they, what they think of me. And that's the deep program that I've had to, to deal with. And, I'm going through a real process of self self acceptance. You know what I mean? Like not everyone is going to dig it, Dan. They're not going to get this. They're not going to drink the juice. They're not going to get to bed on time. They're not going to exercise. They're not going to get sober. They're not going to quit jerking off into a sock. They're not going to stop watching TikTok, and they're not going to stop wasting their lives away. And they're not going to stop. They're not going to start looking for deeper meaning. And they want more money. They want more sex, they want more fame, they want more power, not really understanding that all of that is just a big pile of doo-doo. And it absolutely means nothing in the end. Because those are the things that you think are going to give you the thing that you already are if you stop long enough and get still enough and quit running from yourself long enough I don't mean to be a preacher, believe me, I'm only saying this because I've been on the grinder and I've been through the meat grinder and I help people every day. Then I get up here and make videos and I'm like, what's really going on with your life? What do you really need to change? Are you, do you think diet is a symptom? That's why the whole thing is stupid. The guy that he likes bacon and eggs. So for him, the ultimate human diet is bacon and eggs because he likes the way it tastes. And then this stuff is all poisonous to him, you know? But what's really going on inside of us that's causing dis-ease, disharmony to manifest in the physical, making us choose food that we know and other lifestyle choices. You know if you're smoking stuff, drinking stuff, eating all this junk, you're doing it because it's like you're trying to but if you can be like, oh, hell no, I love myself, I love life, I honor the truth, I honor the creator, I honor creation, this is not acceptable. And you line yourself up and you just say, if you, once you hit rock bottom, you know, you say, oh, hell no, I'm 250 pounds, this ain't happening, I am not going to 251, that ain't happening. You stop eating, right then and right there, you go walk. Every time you get hungry, you walk, you know? So what's going on inside of you that really needs to change? Honesty is the key. Be honest 